Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. Following the Dobbs v. Jackson decision that overturned Roe v. Wade, the great majority of photos captured protests in the street and in front of the court. What makes this image so interesting is its reference to time and to moral strength. This photo was taken by Brandon Bell for Getty Images. It shows 24-year-old Rachel Nix sitting on a curb outside the Supreme Court on June 24, 2022, after it overturned Roe v. Wade. The quote on the sign says, let this radicalize you rather than lead you to despair. And the bottom lists websites for abortion funds and one for abortion pill information. Nix emphasized that she was trying not to be sad, but she doesn't quite look like she believes the message on her own sign in that she's looking to the right. You know, she maybe is looking ahead to the future and she looks like she is in a bit of despair. And that's a legitimate feeling, I think. I find it interesting that even if we just focus on her stillness sitting on the curb with her sign in front of her, that part of the image really highlights the way that the Dobbs decision is intersecting with individual people's emotions in complex ways. Not all people are engaged in protest or the kind of active shouting images that a lot of photographs of the protests show. There's much more going on for people emotionally as they try to navigate this really uncertain landscape for reproductive health care. I'm really glad you're talking about the sense of conflict in Rachel Nix, because it would be very easy just to talk about the dynamic between her and the animation in the background. But really, yes, I think that she really does feel like she's being pulled in different directions. And, you know, when you talk about the sentiment in the country, 61% of U.S. adults say abortion should be legal. Well, you know, that goes up to 74% when you're talking about people ages 18 to 20. 29. And yes, this is a powerful reflection of the tension that young women across the country are experiencing right now. The blurriness of the people moving behind her works, I think, as a visual metaphor on several levels. And Bell's really skilled in terms of capturing this idea. First, I think there's just the chaos of the decision. People aren't all walking in one direction in unison as you would, let's say, if you were going on a march from one place to another. They're kind of all over the place. Some of them are standing around. Some people are moving off to the right of the image. Some people are moving off to the left of the image. And it sort of communicates this idea of there's really the sense of like, not everybody knows what to do next. Not everybody knows what's going to happen next. No one's quite sure how to act. What is legal? What is not legal? And then that links to kind of the political challenges. Several folks have argued that the Biden administration, despite having seen the draft decision of the Dobbs case, really did not have a response kind of queued up and ready to roll when that decision officially came out. And so in the context of the political landscape, I think there's also a lot of kind of confusion and scrambling for what to do next. The quotation on the side also invites us, I think, to think about what does it really mean to be radicalized in this moment? Maybe it's not only about protesting just in the aftermath, the immediate days after, but again, maybe it's about planning. Maybe it's about thinking about the long game. So there's the idea of be systematic, put your money where your mouth is, and maybe we can use this moment to lead to something in the future that will potentially improve things. Another way to think about the movement in this image is to think about that kind of contrast, again, between the stillness of Rachel Nix and the movement of the people behind her in terms of what's going to happen to people who need abortion, who need this particular form of reproductive health care. People are going to be forced to be on the move. And that's kind of reflected, I think, metaphorically in the movement of the image, people going every which way. They may not be able to get care where they live. And at the same time, Nix's still body is also reminding us really that the point of the Dobbs decision is to force pregnant people to stay where they are, to keep them where they are, to punish them for trying to move or gain care. 